What's going on everybody? Uh, my name is DRock and um, today I wanted to go through uh, how I make a like a, uh, a vocal for a uh, drop. Uh, this is a track I'm working on right now. It's actually a hard style track, something I've never really done before. But uh, yeah, we got a little vocal right here. Um, it's kind of terrible, but I needed something because I wanted to write this uh, tutorial, so we'll see if I end up keeping it or not in the finalized song. But yeah, check it out real quick. So yeah, really cheesy. Um, I haven't done any sort of processing to it yet. Um, okay, so right off the bat, I can tell you that I recorded it higher than what... Than what... Uh, it's gonna end up at because in the end we're gonna end up dropping down the um, the uh, vocal a bit in a uh, pitch. Uh, but right off the bat, let's uh, throw something like that. Get rid of those extreme lows. I know there's something that's gonna sound like crap in here somewhere, like right, usually somewhere around the 600 range. Drop it like an atom bomb. Yeah, right in there sounds dumpy. Drop it like an atom bomb. A lot more clarity there, right, right off the, right off the bat, because uh, that's kind of something with uh, vocals in general. Right, you know, they're on that five, six. Honestly, it's like probably closer to like four to seven hundred hertz somewhere in there. Almost always sounds like crap. Uh, okay, so let's uh, compress this a bit. Get it all even. Drop it like an atom bomb. Drop it like an atom bomb. Just to, just to smooth out the overall volume of it. Uh, and then we'll actually, actually, no, we're not going to do that yet. Next, we're going to hard tune this to what we want it to be. So the key of the song is in, uh, I think it's G minor. Let me think, uh, yes, G minor. Hard tune it. And we're going to create a track for this as well. Drop it like an atom bomb. It's right there, you can hear that it's kind of doing all sorts of crazy stuff. Drop it like an atom bomb. I'm gonna drop that down to where it's gonna be closer to the key. Drop it like an atom bomb. That's pretty close. And but we're gonna want that slightly that slightly um, pitch shifted down tone. Uh see I, I, I know I got a, a G just hanging out somewhere. There we go. That's, this should work. I may have to go up and not go up or down an octave, but let's see here. Yeah, way too low. All right, so let's jump that up an octave. Dropping like an atom bomb. There we go. Now that's forced directly to that note. Next, we're gonna throw on a scream. Creative effects. Tape mode. Give it some extra life. Dropping like an atom bomb. Dropping like an atom bomb. Dropping like an atom bomb. Cool, that's good for now. Uh, the next big step is going to be to um, uh, vocode as well. So, uh, I'm just going to duplicate these tracks. And on the duplicate one, we're going to take out the uh, scream. Add in the vocoder. Okay, back to it. Got a phone call. Had to take it real quick. So, vocoder. Let's see, how did that auto route? No, we don't want that. We're going to want this. Next, we will create the uh, uh, the instrument that's going to be vocoding it. So, we're going to use a Thor. Go into there. And the main output's going back into here. Sweet. Okay, so... Oops. Want tab, not caps lock. Let's um, create a track for this Thor. That down. Let's solo all of these out. Cool. So we got vocoding happening. Uh, if you didn't see what happened there, um, uh, Reason makes it fairly easy because uh, you've got um, you got a little symbol with a uh, keyboard. You got a, you got a little symbol with a microphone. So you can kind of figure out the routing on your own. They make it nice and simple, thankfully. 
So, uh, turn sustain all the way up. Turn that up. Uh, I think we're gonna go with an FM type of sound for this. So, uh, first two on um, sine wave, third oscillator on a sawtooth wave to give it that extra crispity, crackly, crunchy coolness. Uh, let's go over here actually. So, oscillator three to frequency FM and oscillator two frequency FM. Dropping like an atom bomb. Dropping like an atom bomb. I have to drop that down an octave, actually. Dropping like an atom bomb. There we go. Kind of liking how that's starting to sound. So let's, uh. What's that do? Dropping like an atom bomb. That's pretty decent. Let's smash this. With scream. Dropping like an atom bomb. Not bad, not bad. Uh, I think Modulate is actually a fun one to use with the FM cell. Oh, missed it. Dropping like an atom bomb. Oh yeah, I like I kind of like how that sounds. Dropping like an atom bomb. 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 That's decent. And we'll do a scream right afterwards. And wow, my heat's blasting right now in here. Dropping like an atom bomb. Cool. Now we're starting to get a happy, decent sound. Let's uh, merge this with this guy and see what we got. Dropping like an atom bomb. All right, on this guy, I'll jump back to you now. Let's turn on the format, bring it down a bit. Dropping like an atom bomb. Let me see if we drop down an octave. Let's see. Dropping like an atom bomb. Ooh, I kind of like that sound actually. Dropping like an atom bomb. Cool. Now, in the meantime, let's uh, where are these at? Drop box. Drop box all capitals, and let's make it organized. And let's do the color. Oh, we'll do red. Dropping like an atom bomb. A little bit of editing on these audio files, real quick. Fade ins and fade outs. You should, in in, in reality, always fade in and uh, fade out your um, your um, audio files. Dropping like an atom bomb. Cool. On this one, there's some there's some weird funky stuff going on. Let's uh, see here. Dropping like an atom bomb. Whoa! I have no idea what sound that was, but that was kind of cool. Whatever, whatever it was, it was like an interference from a cell phone signal. Uh, F6. All right, so let's uh let's do some more EQing on this. Dropping like an atom bomb. Whoa. Dropping like an atom bomb. Didn't do it that time, that's odd. Dropping like an atom bomb. Yeah, we'll really scoop that out there. Dropping like an atom bomb. I kind of like how that sounds, actually. Uh, we'll wait on that. Cool, let's look at these band levels now. So I'm kind of jumping all around. This is sort of how I do, when I'm working with like two different sounds, it's kind of how I, I write. Uh, or how I will compose a part is to kind of jump back and forth between them. Sorry if it's confusing, but that's kind of just how I work. Dropping like an atom bomb. That's a really odd sound. I'm, not, I'm gonna have to export this out and just resample it. I think. Dropping like an atom bomb. Dropping like an atom bomb. Let's uh, turn the shift down a little bit. Dropping like an atom bomb. 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 Real harsh in those mids. Dropping like an atom bomb. 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 Dropping
the atom bomb. That's so goofy. <laughs> Whatever the heck that is. It's probably something with like the Neptune doing something odd. Dropping like an atom bomb. Hmm. Dropping like an atom bomb. All right, let's uh, smash these together. Where did my drop box go? Here we go. We'll throw a uh, throw a scream on this just to squish everything together. Whoa! Cool. And uh, we'll throw. That was that was that's really really odd, huh? Okay, now let's throw a. Um, let's do another EQ. Some back. Like you know, a little too, too much there. Like um, just to cut out some extreme lows, just to be safe. Like and let's fish around for that. Oh, any weird sounds? Like 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 Nice little small dip there. Like Actually, I think that 1k would be even more harsh. Like yeah, it's a little harsh there. Like there we go. Well, now let's throw some reverb on it. Short, bright plates are where it's at, yo. Uh, right. Like an bomb. And let's uh get rid of those lows. Like an bomb. Cool. Uh now let's check it out in context and see how it sounds and see what other changes we'll have to make. <laughs> Just a little too loud, I'd say. Uh Dropbox turned you down. I think I'm actually gonna turn down the vocal and keep the uh, the vocodes in there. Well, I think I'll also uh, you don't get that crazy sound again. Uh, I'm also going to throw a chorus on this or a unison. See how that sounds. Kind of like how that sounds. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. How I how I'll do a lot of Dropbox. Um, I'm gonna export this out just so I can use it as a. Uh, as a and just a resample it that way I don't have to keep all these tracks here the whole time. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to drop a comment, shoot me a message or something like that on SoundCloud. Or uh, yeah, hope you guys learned something, and I will catch you next time.